Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. I know it's been a while since I've actually done an update, but I've been really busy and I think I might have to look for another job. Yeah, it's been kind of a rocky week and I'm not going to go into that because it's not important, but um, the book that I'm going to discuss today is a book written by one of my favorite authors, Rob Braden, and it's called The God Code. It speaks of how encoded within our DNA, the elements that make up our DNA, hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, those make up the Hebrew letters for Yahweh, or the familiar name of God, and the exact translation of which means uh, God everlasting within the body. And I thought, really? <laughs> I thought that was really astounding, and I, I serious, seriously thought it was rather groundbreaking, and I, I hadn't heard that before, and as I continued to go through the book, uh, I found some more uh, evidence that Greg had compiled about this, including the, uh, the chemical com components of um, DNA, cytosine, adenine, guanine, thiamine, and those equal uh, the name of God as well. Um, and there's also a numerical equivalent, equivalent, and it speaks of the numerical equivalent of the <clears throat> of that as well as um, uh, the word for uh, soul and the word for heaven. They are the same. <laughs> And I thought, that is really phenomenal. Who would have thought that? That, that can't possibly be a coincidence. I, I mean, it, if you talk about probability, and my understanding of probability is very basic at, at you know, the, the very most uh, elementary level, but it, it just doesn't add up. And I'm sorry to... to <laughs> throw in a numerical pun, but it, it really doesn't, and it just can't be coincidence, and it speaks of one of my favorite theories, evolution and adaptation, and that the two are combined, and they need to be combined because one without the other um, is inadequate, and uh, even Darwin, he, he said that himself when he was writing his uh, theory. And I, I thought that it takes somebody very humble to admit that. And a uh, hypothesis is only a hypothesis until you uh, gather facts and continue to do your empirical proofs. And then you develop a theory. And of course, theories are only theories and, until they become facts. And it, it truly is. Th this book just gave me pause and it, it really made me reevaluate how I perceive the world and as a burgeoning metaphysicist I, I just think it's um, absolutely integral that um, people read this book as one of the tools to open their eyes and their hearts and their minds to the possibilities of this infinite world <laughs> both within ourselves and without ourselves and it, it truly just <laughs> it's inspirational I think and it's just uh, become so um, profound and beloved to me and um, <laughs> it there's a lot of information in here not not just the um, the the um, the proof from the the Sefer Yetzera, um, the, the book actually predates the Talmud, I believe, and the the Kabbalah. But uh, there's more evidence within the book uh, that suggests that uh, this is only just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> for scraping. And I'm not surprised at all with this because science itself is con continuously reevaluating itself and. Um, it really is something to to ponder, and it's uh, <laughs> it's completely mind-boggling. I thought, and it's just stupendous. So 
this uh, paperback I actually got as a copy for um, my church because I felt since I've been blessed by it I should bless others with it so that's why I'm telling you about it and uh, it's by far one of the best books I've ever read and it, um, it's a relatively new book so it's uh, research that is still continuously being done and uh, I think that there will be more and more information such as this that will come out in the near future especially in this uh, this new age of Aquarius as we're going into uh, <laughs> not a coincidence nothing is coincidence um, I just I feel that that this book is is completely um, sensational and that everybody should read it and that people will definitely enjoy it uh, and one of these days I'm hoping I can meet Mr. Braden and uh, hear him speak because I, I truly think that he is a very humble person and just his his spirit is is uh, the most gorgeous spirit I have ever met he's one of the few people I can say that just exudes um, purity and uh, genius and he encapsulates all of that and <laughs> I wonder if he's married hmm. May have to ask him that too, but <laughs> he'll probably turn me down. He says, oh, no, I'm not interested. You're too young, but I don't care. <laughs> Intelligence is a very alluring thing to me. But uh, <laughs> that's basically all I have to say about Mr. Brayden. But if you see this, pick it up, because I came across this by chance. <laughs> Nothing is chance. This happened for a reason, and I'm glad it did, and I'm happy that I can share it with others.